Tungiasis, caused by the sand flea tunga penetrans, remains a significant health concern in resource-poor communities across Brazil. To gain a deeper understanding of the transmission dynamics of this parasitic skin disease, a comprehensive longitudinal study was undertaken in a slum located in Fortaleza, northeastern Brazil. The study aimed to investigate the prevalence and intensity of tungiasis in a typical endemic area, shedding light on the variations that occur throughout the year. The research employed a meticulous door-to-door -door survey, examining a population of 1,460 individuals randomly selected from the community. The investigation was carried out on four occasions, each corresponding to different seasons. March, rainy season, June, end of the rainy season, September, peak of the dry season, and January, beginning of the rainy season. The findings revealed a dynamic pattern in the prevalence of tungiasis, with rates fluctuating significantly across the seasons. In March, the prevalence was 33.6%, marking the rainy season. By June, as the rainy season concluded, the prevalence dropped to 23.8%. However, a substantial surge was observed in September, the peak of the dry season, with the prevalence rate soaring to 54.4%. As the community transitioned to the rainy season again in January, the prevalence decreased to 16.8%. A noteworthy gender-based disparity was identified, with tungiasis being more prevalent in males compared to females. Furthermore, the intensity of infestation demonstrated a correlation with the prevalence rates, suggesting a direct relationship between the two factors. The research, therefore, not only unveils the seasonal variations in the prevalence of tungiasis but also emphasizes the importance of understanding the dynamics of the disease burden. The implications of these findings are substantial, particularly in the realm of public health. The study underscores the necessity for adaptive control measures, considering the seasonal peaks and troughs in tungiasis prevalence. Designing targeted interventions that align with the temporal patterns of disease transmission can prove more effective in mitigating the impact of tungiasis in these vulnerable communities. Moreover, the identification of gender-based variations emphasizes the importance of tailored health education and prevention strategies, taking into account the specific vulnerabilities of different demographic groups. In conclusion, the longitudinal study in Fortaleza provides a comprehensive perspective on the seasonal dynamics of tungiasis in an endemic area. These insights contribute significantly to the development of nuanced and targeted strategies for the control and prevention of this parasitic skin disease, ultimately promoting the health and well-being of communities grappling with resource limitations. Please remember to subscribe to our channel, click the like button, and activate the notification bell if you wish to see more content like this. Thanks for watching.